With the persistent threat of low-flying aircraft on modern battlefields, every well-equipped army needs a reliable self-propelled anti-aircraft gun, SPG, system. For the Republic of Korea Army, this role is performed by the K-30 Baiho, Flying Tiger. The K-30 is built on the battle-tested chassis of the K-200 Korean Infantry Fighting Vehicle, KIFV, and features advanced radar and autocannon systems designed to neutralize aerial threats. The development of the K-30 began in 1983 and spanned until 1991, with production commencing in 1996 under Hanwha Defense Systems. A total of 176 units have been produced, with service entry delayed until 1999. The K-30 offers a highly mobile anti-aircraft solution that has proven effective within the South Korean military's arsenal. Weighing 25 tons, the K-30 retains the chassis and running gear of the K-200 KIFV but integrates a robust electro-optical and radar targeting system. The TPS-830K Fire Director is the core of the system, featuring forward-looking infrared FLIR, technology, thermal sights, and a laser rangefinder for superior accuracy against fast-moving aerial targets. The vehicle's fire control system, FCS, is fully digital, providing precise targeting capabilities. The K-30's primary armament consists of 230mm SNT KKCB autocannons, positioned on either side of the turret. These cannons can fire at a blistering rate of 600 rounds per minute, delivering explosive shells up to a range of 2 miles. Each cannon is supplied with 300 rounds, allowing for sustained engagement against both aerial and ground targets. The X-band pulse Doppler radar system, which is mounted on the vehicle, can detect incoming aerial threats up to 11 miles away, giving the crew ample time to engage hostile targets. The K-30 has an overall length of 22.2 feet, a width of 11 feet, and a height of 13.35 feet, including the radar system. The vehicle requires a crew of four to operate effectively. The driver is positioned at the front of the hull, while the remaining crew members, including the gunner and commander, occupy positions in the turret. The vehicle is also equipped with at least two sets of six smoke grenade dischargers, allowing it to create smoke screens for self-protection. The K-30 shares the same tracked wheel configuration as the K-200, but to accommodate the increased weight, it features six double-tired road wheels on each side. The drive sprocket is located at the front, while the track idler is positioned at the rear. The vehicle is powered by a Mandusen D2840L diesel engine producing 520 horsepower, a significant upgrade from the K-200's original 350 horsepower engine. This engine is paired with an SNT Dynamics HMPT 500-3EK-4EK gearbox, offering improved handling and performance over the K200's Allison transmission. Thanks to its torsion bar suspension system, the K30 delivers excellent cross-country mobility, enabling it to traverse rugged terrain. It boasts a top road speed of 37 miles per hour and can travel up to 310 miles on internal fuel stores, ensuring extended operational range on the battlefield. In 2013, it was announced that the K-30 fleet would be further enhanced with the addition of Shingung short-range surface-to-air missiles, SAMs. These missiles were mounted on twin-tubed launchers, with two launchers fitted on either side of the existing turret, providing a total of four missiles per vehicle. This upgrade significantly expanded the K-30's tactical versatility, enabling it to engage not only aircraft but also helicopters and drones at greater distances. The upgraded K-30 was expected to enter service in 2018. The K-30 Baiho is a prime example of the South Korean military's ability to innovate and adapt existing technologies to meet modern battlefield demands. With its twin 30mm autocannons, advanced radar system, and the recent addition of Shingung SAMs, the K-30 offers formidable anti-aircraft defense for the Republic of Korea Army. Its versatility, mobility, and firepower make it a valuable asset in safeguarding airspace and neutralizing low-flying threats.